1983, this little 10-year-old girl in Manchester, Maine, Samantha Smith, was very frightened when the Soviet Union changed premiers. Yuri Andropov became the new premier, and you know, all over the news in this country were pictures of him on television and on magazines saying, oh, will this be the man who pushes the button? The button meaning starts a nuclear war. This is very scary. And she went to her mom and said, you know, mom, why don't you write a letter to this man, Yuri Andropov? and ask him why he would even think of doing that. And her mother, out of exasperation or wisdom, <laughs> said to her, Oh, Samantha, why don't you? And so Samantha went up to her room and wrote a 126-word letter in pencil on a lined piece of paper and dropped it in the box in Manchester, Maine, you know, Yuri and Dropoff, Kremlin, Moscow, Soviet Union. And it was delivered to him. And he was very moved by it. And he wrote back to her, and he published first. He published it on the front page of Pravda, which is like, uh, which is a Russian word that means truth, and it was it's like uh, our New York Times. So here it was Samantha's letter on the on the front of Pravda, and he wrote back to her and said, Samantha, the, the Russian people do not want war. Why don't you and your family come to the Soviet Union and find out for yourselves that we don't want war, and we'll pay for it. So they decide to go. And there she goes to camp with Russian kids. She uh, travels around the country, meets all kinds of people, and discovers something really essential. That the tension between our countries was not because the people were very different or hated each other, it's because the governments you know, created these tensions. She said, the people I met in the Soviet Union, the Russians, were just like my friends back in Maine. You know, they had families. They had friends, they went to school, they had pets, they had dreams of the future. Why in the world would they want a war? Especially, as she said, if the war could kill everything. So at the end of her, her, her tour in the Soviet Union, she was at a, a press conference in Moscow, and now it was, she was an international figure. People from all over the world were there interviewing her and talking to her, and she came across with that message, that peace message. This was a, a moment that where an 11-year-old girl actually changed the tone of the Cold War because she said, we can have peace. These people we call our enemies are not our enemies. They are just like us. The person with the courage to name the problem, you know, whether it's an 11-year-old girl or you know, a 90-year-old woman or whatever it is, you know, that person becomes the teacher for the society. And Samantha had become that teacher.